Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we'll discuss about some probability examples on playing cards. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about how to find the probability value, and we have done some examples on coin and dice. So please watch those classes and come back here because the how to find the probability was explained, and we have done some examples based on the assumption that you already have the basic knowledge. Based on that, we are going to explain these examples. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we we are going to understand what's there in our playing cards. Then we are go do some easy problems in this exam in this video. In our coming videos, we are going to do some complex examples based on the cards and the coins and all those things. Coming to playing cards, in the playing cards we are having four different symbols. Hearts is one symbol. This symbol is heart symbol. and this is spade symbol and next uh, we are having club symbol and this is diamond symbol so in the playing cards we are having four different symbols and one more point you have to remember this diamond symbol is red, red in color and heart symbol is red, red in color clubs uh, clubs and uh, clubs and uh, spade is black in color and in each symbol we are having 13 cards first one is ace 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and in place of 11 we are going to take jack queen and king so total each symbol consists of 13 cards and this symbol consists of 13 cards this symbol consists of 13 cards 13 13 total how many cards we are going to have 52 different cards are available so this is what we are having in playing cards playing cards now coming to you have to remember the symbols and uh, uh, what's the jack queen and uh, king so then only we can easily solve the examples now coming to the examples probability a card is drawn from shuffled pack of 52 cards means uh, total we are having 52 cards out of that if you randomly shuffle it and all those things uh, after shuffling all the cards uh, if you randomly pick a card from the uh, from the deck of cards uh, what is the probability that it is a five of diamond that card should be a diamond card means the symbol present on the card should be diamond and it should be a number 5 so in diamond symbols how many cards are there 13 cards are there what's those cards ace 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 jack queen and king so five diamonds of five how many cards are available only one card is available so out of 52 total how many cards are there total 52 cards are there so our sample space number of elements in our sample space is 52 these discussions were made what is sample space in our previous classes number of elements in our event what's our event our event should be five of diamond so one card is available with this meaning so 1 by probability of event is equal to number of elements in our event divided by number of elements in our sample space 1 by 52 this is how we will find the probability value now coming to the next question our card if you randomly shuffle all the 52 cards and if you randomly pick one card from that deck of cards it should be a queen how many queens will be there in each set in clubs we are having one queen in diamonds we are having one queen in hearts we are having one queen in spades we are having one queen each is each different symbol is having one queen card total how many queen cards will be there four queen cards will be there so number of outcomes is equal to four queens number of elements in our event is our event should be a queen card So four elements. Uh, number of elements in our sample space is fifty-two. Uh, so four by fifty-two is our answer. Now coming to the next one, a spade card. Spade is a symbol. How many cards present in spade card? A spade symbol. Thirteen cards are available in spade uh, spade symbol. Diamonds thirteen cards. Hearts thirteen cards. And clubs thirteen cards. it should be a spade card so what's our possibility of our event 13 cards are available total 13 spade cards are available number of elements in our event is 13 number of elements in our sample space is 52 so probability of a uh, uh, event is equal to number of elements in our events divided by number of elements in our sample space that is 13 by 52 this is our probability value 
it should be a king or queen how many kings will be there four uh, four kings will be there and four queens will be there it should be either king or queen so four kings four queens number of elements in our events are eight different cards eight cards number of elements in our sample space is 52 so 8 by 52 is our probability value now the last one is a red color card we already discussed diamonds and hearts are red color cards clubs and another one spade is a black color cards so to, diamonds how many cards will be there 13 cards will be there clubs uh, hearts how many cards uh, how many cards will be there 13 cards will be there total 13 plus 13 26 cards are available a red color card means you can you, you can have uh, total in our 52 how many cards are red color 26 cards are red color so that's why 13 diamonds 13 hearts number of elements in our event is 26 number of elements in our sample space is 52 so probability of uh, our event is 26 by 52 this is what our probability value 26 by 52 means uh, 1 by 2 that is 0.5 50 percent chances are there if you randomly select a card from the deck of cards it should be a red color card so how many how many values are there so 50 percent chance it is having a red color card if you pick one card from the 52 it should be a red color card hope you understand these basic examples in our next class we are uh, going to discuss some formulae regarding to the probability then we are going to discuss some complex examples for probabilities uh, hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you